Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. Welcome to part two of the Tiny Toothpick Challenge. So the challenge I gave myself was to carry these two knives um, for a month. I was just going to alternate carrying them um, every day for a month. Um, I'll tell you now that I ended up just carrying this knife after carrying this one for a day. And it has uh, everything to do with the handle on this one. Uh, the armor hide handle looks really nice and I thought it was gonna work really well because it looks very grippy and everything. But this edge here was problematic when I was holding it and stuff and it just didn't feel as comfortable in the hand, uh, especially when you're gripping it tightly as the um, copper stone does. Despite this one being very smooth and even uh, slightly rounded at the edges here and not nearly as thick, um, this one I could actually grab better. And so this is the one that ended up doing the, uh, uh, well, the challenge. This one lasted for a day and it was mainly because of a comfort issue. And I think that is something that you're going to find uh, with the smaller knives. It really depends on what kind of handle material is on there. Uh, that is going to definitely play in uh, the comfort level of using the knife. And that's the case with even larger knives too. So something to keep in mind when you're choosing a small knife. For me, the uh, smooth uh, acrylic handle uh, was just more comfortable to hold. And I really didn't have a problem with slippage or anything like that. So let's go over the dimensions of the uh, tiny toothpick. First of all, clothes length. Uh, is right at three inches so uh, that would be 76 millimeters and then uh, the blade comes in at right around uh, maybe two and an eighth or two and a quarter of an inch is long so what is that um, about 54 55 uh, millimeters and the uh, cutting length is right at one and seven eighths of an inches or about 50 millimeters. I'm really getting to go with my millimeters and inches. Uh, if I was wrong, it'll be in the notes. Oh, and I should also get that overall length and that would be, uh, let's see if I can hold that steady or not. Right at five and a quarter inches, so right around 132 millimeters. So, what could this little knife do? That's the question. Well, first of all, I found uh, you're not going to spread butter with it. Um, that's the case with a lot of things. Uh, some of these little knives, you're just not going to be able to spread butter with it very well. So, if you're looking for a butter knife, this is not the knife for you. However, uh, I was surprised at how efficiently I could actually uh, uh, take the uh, or peel an apple. And it also worked really good with like cutting the peel on oranges and such. So anything like that, it's going to be fine. Peeling little fruits and stuff uh, works just fine. Um, the other thing is, is it's just an excellent box cutter. The other thing about this knife also is, uh, if you can notice on this blade, the uh, copper tone finish on it, um, it actually held up pretty well. I was expecting it to start coming off real quickly, but it actually, uh, mostly the problems you're seeing with it there are fingerprints and stuff. Um, the copper uh, tone uh, finish on this, the, however they did it, it's holding up really well. So that was uh, pretty good about it. Uh, cutting up cardboard, does a pretty good job on cardboard. Um, actually, let's go grab a piece of cardboard and take a shot at it. So here we have a piece of cardboard and uh, just push down on here. I'm just plunging down and it's cutting through with no problem and cutting, you know, cuts okay. And remind you, I've been using this for a month and I really have not sharpened it at all. But uh, as you can see, it cuts cardboard just fine. So if you need it for cutting up boxes, it's going to do a good job and you can actually it grips into the three fingers really well so i can actually hold it and it doesn't i was worried about it twisting and stuff it really locks in place really well because of the serpentine shape of this the back of there getting into the fingers i really 
it doesn't rock that much. It really holds in place quite well. So uh, cutting cardboard, cutting paper, not a problem. Peeling apples, not a problem. Um, and also cutting uh, through meat and stuff like that. You want to cut up hot dogs or something like that or sausage, any of that stuff, it'll work fine. Same thing with uh, cutting up fish. And so now we have this little twig here. Um, if you notice, it's been cut at the end here. I actually cut that with the toothpick. I'll go over that in a second. The width of this uh, piece of stick, let's see. It is um, approximately 10 millimeters uh, thick, uh, which comes out to be about a third of an inch, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> 38. That makes sense. Uh, so 10 millimeters or 38 uh, or 0.38 inches. Okay, so that's how large this piece of wood is and you can actually cut it. But um, what I wanted to show is that I actually did a lot of whittling with this and uh, it whittles okay. And uh, you can take it and if you run around like a lot of people do, take off the bark if you want to. And you can also cut into that wood good enough that you can also snap off the end of the wood. So, um, you know, by then breaking the tip, well, probably should cut it further in. But you can see that you can actually cut in and make grooves into it. So you can do all sorts of things with this knife with little pieces of wood and such. Now I can break it. Man, it is dried up. But you can see it helps me break the wood and everything. So, yeah, uh, whittling, not the best, but you can whittle with it. You can cut back towards yourself too, if you're careful. Stripping bark and everything else. So, I'm kind of happy with it uh, as a whittler. Not the best knife for whittling, but if you gotta do it, you can do it. And here we have a rubber hose. I've done some other rubber hose cutting before. And uh, the size of this rubber hose is, see it right there, 0.59. So uh, not, uh, not the smallest of, uh, so what, about 5 eighths of an inch hose there. It is uh, almost 16 millimeters on the hose. And the inside diameter of that hose uh, is uh, about eight millimeters or uh, a third of an inch. So not the smallest of uh, hoses. But once again, as you can see, I can cut through that hose with this little knife. Uh, so, and I can also cut around the hose if I wanted to like that. Uh, not as easy that way, but you can cut the hose with the knife more than once. I think I can also plunge into it if I want to and start cutting. So, Cutting up a rubber hose with it, I can do that too. Um, also, I actually did try to see if you could actually like drill a hole with this. And the tip of it, while I wouldn't do it a lot, you can start little pilot holes with this little blade. So, uh, and if you notice, the blade is not bent or tipped or anything like that. Still nice and sharp and pointy. And uh, knife. It's still nice and tight. No blade wobble whatsoever going on. So is the knife functional as a cutter? I would say uh, it kind of passes the test. These little jobbers can actually do work. So uh, uh, is it the most comfortable knife to work with? I would say not necessarily, but in a pinch, if this is one of those knives that you know that you've decided you're going to carry, you know, for a Sunday go to meeting knife or some kind of gentleman's knife uh, to a special occasion or something, 
and you ended up actually having to do something with it, you'd be surprised at what you can actually do with this knife. Now, one of the biggest problems with it is uh, if you've got arthritis or something, uh, there's not a lot of blade to grip onto, so it might be problematic uh, if you have issues uh, grasping small things and such. But beyond that, uh, I'm going to have to tell you, I, I was impressed with just how good these knives actually work uh, and how well they uh, stood up. This is just 448 stainless steel, so it's not the world's greatest steel in there, but it cut real well. Like I said, I have not sharpened it. I've been cutting stuff like this and the sticks and cardboard and all sorts of other stuff, peeling apples, uh, cutting up meat. I actually did cut up a fish with it. I was cutting fishing line with it, including braided fishing line. It was doing just fine. So, yeah, uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with just what I could do with a tiny toothpick. Um, but like I said, not going to be something I'm going to be carrying every day, but uh, I feel comfortable now carrying it as like a, like for special occasions or something, knowing that I can actually do something with a knife this small. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.